Hello, everyone. I'm Yan Jingbing from East China Normal University. And today I would like to introduce our work uh, published in the Worldwide Conference. Uh, my presentation will include the following aspects. Uh, ex explainable recommendation, uh, related work, motivation, uh, architecture, and experiments. So what is explainable recommendation models? Uh, ex explainable recommendation models denotes why certain items are recommended, uh, recommend, recommended to users and it could facilitate the human understanding of model decision process. Uh, we divide interpretability into three levels. First is the feature level explanation. Second is the results level explanation. And last is the model level explanation. There has been some works on the interpretability of feature level. Attention-based mechaniz mechanism is largely used in this scenario, which consequently calculates the attention weights of different features. Besides the above attention-based methods, reinforcement learning technique can be used to choose specific features as ex explanations, factors such as recommendation accuracy and explanation readability from, form a hybrid reward to guide reinforced learning. Uh, counterfactual reasoning is also leveraged to generate counterfactual items with different recommendation decisions by minim minimally changing item features. Then the altered features constitute explanation. In result level recommendation explanation, there are two main streams, texture ex explanation and the knowledge pass. For the former one, some methods perform text generation to explain item recommendation. This is achieved by combining recommendation models and sequence to sequence models in unified frameworks where decoders are responsible for generating texts. For the latter one, knowledge path is generated by introducing external knowledge graphs. Although the learned knowledge passes reflects recommendation reasoning process to a certain extent, the models that perform path selection are still opaque. Moreover, the reliance on knowledge graphs is inevitable. Uh, the model level ex explanation could enable a more comprehensive understanding of how and why recommendation results are generated. However, due to the transparency requirement, the compatible recommendation models might have to be simple. Conventional collaborative filtering methods like memory-based collaborative filtering or model-based expla explainability because of their simple computational paradigm. And explicit factory machine is transparent as well for it is a one layered factor model. And each dimension of factors has, a, has an explicit meaning. However, the performance of these interpretable models is far from satisfactory as compared to biased latent factor models and deep learning based models. In summary, the above approaches are subject to two inherent limitations. Firstly, the feature level and the results level explanation of recommendation explainability cannot reflect how and why recommendation models generate certain results. 
The second limitation is these intrinsically interpretable models are usually transparent and enable a comprehensive understanding of results. But they are difficult to realize in recommender, recommender systems due to the complexity of modern recommendation models. The phenomenon motivates us to develop model-based recommendation models with comparable performance. Thanks to role-based representation learner, we built our own model. And a role-based representation learner uh, is a hierarchical model consisting of three different types of layers. Each layer in uh, RL has rainbow edges connected with its previous layer. Uh, the binarization layer can discretize continuous features end to end. The logical layer can learn data representation using logical rules automatically. And stacked logical layers can learn rules in more complex forms. Linear layer will learn the linear part of the data and evaluate role importance using weights. In the, in the discrete version, age connect connections indicate, indicate which variables will involve in the logical operation. Uh, RI and SI denote denotes the ice node in the conjunction and disconjunction layer. Although the discrete logical layers have great inter interpretability, they are hard to train for their discrete parameters and the non-differentiable structure, structures. Uh, the continuous version is differentiable, and when we discretize the parameters of a continuous logical layer, we can obtain its corresponding discrete logical layer. To achieve this, it needs to transfer the discrete value at Johnson's matrix to real value weight matrix and change the logical operator into logical active functions. Uh, the structure of a role-based representation learner looks perfect, but there are several problems when introduced into the recommendation system. Uh, it's hard to fully capture the user item interactions. Uh, the char characteristics only on the user side or the item side. And since the logical layer takes discrete value as input, the RL can't use continuous embedding. Moreover, the role weights are global shared by all users and items. To solve these problems, we proposed a three tower architecture, including logical layer as its basic unit and the user uh, the user and item embeddings are fused to generate personalized role weights. This figure shows the overall architecture of our model NS ICF. It includes aforementioned three tower architecture tailored for the user and item sites of recommendation systems with, uh, with embedding fusion parts. Uh, in follows, I will specify the details of our model. Uh, the three towers are the user tower, uh, and uh, in the middle is the item tower, uh, uh, and uh, the left is the user item interaction tower. Uh, the user tower and item tower learn the role representation of user item in the lower layer respectively. At the same time, 
the user item interaction tower pays more attention to user item interaction. And in the upper layer, the outputs of the three towers are combined for prediction. Uh, since the original RL structure can, can't use the uh, embedding information of users and items, we have added the embedding future part of the original basis. Uh, this method will not affect the output of the row tower, so it retains the interpretability of the model. Uh, in addition, different from RIL using linear layer global sharing row weights. Our method realized personalized row weights for different user item pairs. And uh, the output of the fusion part uh, and the output of the logical, logical tower uh, we use inner product to get the final result, uh, which we use for predict the user uh, will interact interact with uh, an item or not. In the experiment part, we compare three different types of recommendation models. Uh, the first class is shallow latent factor models for which we choose the follow, following widely used baseline. The second class is the representative deep learning based recommendation models include deep factorization models, uh, fully connected deep networks, attention based models and the graph neural networks. Uh, the final class is the partially explainable models. Uh, to conduct reliable experiments, we adapt movie lens and Taobao to publicly available and widely used data sets. Uh, we, we don't introduce models towards the result level explanation because they usually rely additional re resources such as uh, knowledge graphs uh, reviews and review text and etc. Uh, we can see that uh, an NS ICF have has achieved the same effect as non-interpretable models and better than the model level explainable models. We also conduct some ablation experiment to prove the effectiveness of the proposed models. The results shows that deleting the weight of personaliza personalization roles, roles will significantly reduce the recommendation performance. Removing the user item interaction tower and the, the user or item tower will reduce the recommendation performance, which means that the three tower structure uh, brings performance improvement to the model. Uh, and we analysis how the variation of row number affects the recommendation performance. We can see that when increasing the row number from two to eight, the trends of performance boosts on the two data sets are obvious. After the row number surpassed 16, the variation trends become stable and even become a little worse due to the overfitting. And based on the distributions, we have two interesting findings. Firstly, most row weights are non-negative values. This illustrates the fact that a majority of learned rows explain why a target user interacts with a given item. Secondly, there is a large proportion of row weights with. Okay, I will be be fast. Uh, 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 
uh, and there is a large proportion of roadways with small absolute values. And uh, in the uh, then in the next graph, we further investigate whether the learned role weights are personalized. Uh, uh, we can see not all users center on one role, and the low ranking roles even have a few connected users. Uh, as such, the personalization of roadways are achieved. Uh, finally, uh, we will show the roles learned from our model. Uh, by seeing the roles learned from movie lens, uh, we can see that if a user is a female college student, she might like a mystery view. And if a user is a college student with uh, age between 18 and 24, uh, he or she might prefers a biographical film made in USA. Uh, according to the interpretable roles, uh, film companies could optimize their production plan and the users could better understand their own preference. For another role case of Taobao, although the goods are desensitized, we can still see the relationship between some users' consumption habits and uh, commodity prices. Uh, thanks for listening uh, and feel free to ask any questions. Yeah, thanks for the uh, presentation. Uh, any question from audience? Okay, uh, let me start with a question. So uh, could you go back to the uh, Taobao uh, uh, you know, the top example. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I saw, yeah, I saw there is um, uh, features like category ID. Uh, yes. So, so I would imagine there would be a lot of different IDs, right? Yeah, um, right, right. Uh, so how do you represent it in, in, in your model? It's like, uh, since, since, since your model takes the binary as input, right? So, um, uh, uh, Yes, our model takes binary uh, as uh, as input, mm -hmm. and uh, so does it mean like uh uh let's say if you have uh one thousand uh categories, then you have yes. one thousand uh, dimension binary. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, but uh, what uh, one heart uh, one heart mm -hmm. one heart vector. Yes. Okay. Take uh, one that, heart. I I see. Um. Would, would this be a problem if there are the, the vocabulary is too large? Uh, yes, uh, and uh, it, it, it is a problem. And if the uh, vocabulary becomes very large, uh, the memory will, uh, cost will be uh, a big problem. So uh, uh, that's why the model can't use the uh, in, uh, the uh, user mm -hmm. and uh, the item ID uh, into the input, and uh, we we can uh, and so uh, we propose a, a embedding fusion to uh, uh, to uh, to solve this problem, uh, as often mentioned. And that's the left part. Uh, I see. Yes, the 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 uh, ID will be uh, the ID of item and user will be very large, uh, but the category uh, uh, could uh, decrease the uh, dim dim dimension. I see. Um, my, my another question is, uh, since you have the left part, which is actually a, a latent part, um, uh, yes, and, and the fusion part is like the inner product between uh, between these two uh, modular, right? Um, yes. So, what will this make the uh, uh, like the explanation like less interpretable? Um, since oh, uh, okay, okay, uh, I see. Uh, uh, the two part, uh, the left part, uh, the embedding fusion part, uh, only, uh, only uh, 
the right part is the logical part and the output of the logical layer is uh, some rows learned from the model. Um, so uh, uh, when we added the uh, fusion part, uh, we just uh, use the uh, weight of the uh, weight uh, output as the weight uh, of the uh, uh, logical layer. So uh, we uh, use the uh, embedding fusion as uh, uh, the weight of a rule. So uh, it is uh, explainable. I see. And I see. we, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the explanation. Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks. Uh, 